Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to get custom watch faces on your Apple Watch. Now this is really exciting. This is a new method that you can apply using the Widgie app. If you watch my channel and my videos, you probably have seen this app. This is an app that offers home screen widgets for your device, but now it offers also watch faces and it's really great. As I said, it has a great community on Reddit so you will see a lot of watch faces being posted by this community, which of course makes this a great feature. Now let me show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to get these custom watch faces on your Apple Watch. Now the first thing you want to do of course, install the Widgie app. You can download it from the link right down below in the description of the video. The app is free to be downloaded from the App Store, but if you want to use the watch faces feature, you will have to actually pay $5. So it will sync for free. It will show your watch face on your Apple watch for free, but it will stay on just for 15 minutes and then you will have to resync it. If you don't want to do that, of course, every 15 minutes, you will have to pay for this feature. Now, once you have the app installed on your iPhone, head on to the watch app and make sure you have it installed on your Apple watch as well. So just scroll down here if you don't see it on the list here installed on Apple Watch, you will find it down here. So you just tap installed and you must have watch it installed on your eye on your Apple Watch. Now, once you have that done, all you have to do now is go ahead and download watch faces. Now you can do that by going to the explore tab here, go to watch it and you will find here featured and of course the feet. Now every day you will find here new watch faces that will be posted. And of course you can even find more on Reddit on the widget subreddit, there are some really cool watch faces. So you can see we have a few here. So let's go with tear down right here. So it shows basically the internals of an Apple watch. So you just tap on it and tap on import and you're good to go. You have imported that. Now you can go to manage and you will have your slots right here. So you can tap there and add one of the watch faces that you have imported. So you can see right here, we have three of them and of course we can go ahead and now sync them to our device. Now on the device, what you need to do is make sure that you have the widget app open. So go ahead and open right here, the app. And of course you tap on sync, tap right here and it will sync on your device. So you can see here you have the watch face and you can swipe like this to switch between different watch faces you have on the slots or right here. Now let's move on back to the Apple watch and see some details that you need to know and configure in order for this to work as it should. On your Apple watch, what you need to make sure is that you go to settings and from here, make sure that you go to general and then you will have here return to clock. Now what you can do here is choose after one hour. So anytime you open the app, of course you have the custom watch face but when the screen turns off and it turns back on, it will still be on the app. So you will still have your custom watch face. Now this used to allow you to always have that on the screen, but now Apple has limited to one hour. So basically after every one hour, you will actually have to just reuse the app or just relaunch the app. To do that easily, you can add a complication on the watch face that you're currently using. So if I tap right here, you can see we will have it right here. So here we have watchy. And of course, anytime the app goes off, we can go ahead and launch it from here and have our custom watch faces, which are actually really amazing, especially this one right here. So you can see it actually works. I can tap there and there and it actually works. It's actually pretty cool. If you want to download this, I will leave it, leave it of course, linked right down below in the description of the video. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is how you can get custom watch faces on your Apple Watch right now using Watchy. Thank you guys for watching. All the links that you need will be right down below in the description of the video. Leave a like on the video and I'll see you on the next one.